And joining me now is one of the newest Flames forwards coming in this upcoming season, Cam Allenbright. Cam, thanks for sitting down with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Now, Cam, obviously your recruiting story is a little bit different than everyone else's, especially with the process that happened. Uh, you came to Liberty and then decided to go somewhere else, and now you're trying to come back here as well. Talk a little, a little bit about the story that uh, when it came to your recruiting process. Yeah, so I originally kind of heard about Liberty when I was playing hockey down in uh, Odessa, Texas, in the North American Hockey League, and I went and visited kind of already had it in my mind, you know, I, I'm just going to go here and kind of make my parents happy that I'm visiting this place and whatnot. So I went there and didn't really have the best mindset going in. I had other offers from D3 schools and that's what I did is I chose the the school that sounded the best to me. And I went there and uh, I found out quickly, it wasn't really uh, the ideal surrounding for me. Uh, and I would, knew I would have been much happy, happier at Liberty and realized, you know, that D3 title doesn't mean anything. Um, you know, if God's not involved and you're not having fun. So I wasn't having a great time. So at the end of the season, I reached back out to coach Handy and just kind of asked, you know, Hey, what's going on? What's, what's the scope look like at Liberty right now? Do you have room for another forward? I know it's a little late in the process. Can I come on another visit? And coach Handy was more than, more than accommodating and, and worked around everything I needed to pos like possible to get me out to campus, got out there again. And I brought my parents there this time. So someone was there to make sure they could talk a little bit of sense into me. And, and again, the first time it blew me away, but this time it just kind of was like, wow, I, I need to go here. Nice. Well, I know, uh, obviously glad to have you here. And I know hockey is a very special part of uh, your life and a big passion of yours. And you could say it's really a big passion of your families, uh, especially between you and your father, kind of build a special connection between you two. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so my dad played uh, for the University of Illinois, Chicago, uh, Division One growing up. Uh, funny enough, they're called the Flames as well. Um, so he played Division One hockey there. And when they had me, uh, I kind of felt he didn't really have to push me towards it. I fell in love with hockey kind of on my own. And he got me in skating and stuff when I was three years old. And uh, he's always been there to coach me. He coached me growing up the whole time. So a lot of what I've learned came from his coaching. Um, and he's never stopped coaching me. He watches all my games and kind of any anything that needs little tweaks and improvements here and there. He says, hey, you, you, what could you have done better here? You could have done this better here. Um, and so we, we do have a lot of long talks after games and anything he watches just to pick my brain and kind of see what I could have been doing better. And so that's that's brought us uh, close together. We have that strong bond, as you said, in hockey. And it's something we can always talk about and always have. And now coming in, you're obviously, like we talked about, you're going to be a little older forward. But also, more importantly, you're going to be an experienced forward because you have some collegiate uh, hockey experience under your belt now. So talk a little bit about not only just your experience, but then even your playing style, how you, how you know that's going to come and add to the team and how you think it will be a benefit for the team too and for you as a player. So going into junior hockey, I, I was a little more um, – skill speed um I was physical but it was nothing like what I was introduced to in junior hockey and so I became a, a very physical player um more so in making room for the guys that are skilled um and when I got to college I realized okay wow it was physical there this is a whole nother uh level these guys are 26 year old men I'm playing against them I'm, I'm outweighed by 60 pounds so I had to get stronger in the gym and and I kind of had to adapt to that style of play and know where to put myself and place myself at certain times uh, to protect myself and to give my teammates the best opportunity to come in and support me um, or for me to come in and support them. So um, I believe coming into Liberty, I'll be a, a strong asset, you know, uh, getting pucks out of corners and getting them to the front of the net to uh, allow room for guys that, that can put the puck in the back of the net uh, to have the time and opportunity to do so. And I know one of the experiences uh, you were talking about, uh, obviously, uh, God being a key part of your hockey journey, one of the experiences a lot of the Flames get to have is going on a mission trip. And I know uh, from reading uh, the story about yourself and your family, one of the key things that you guys been a part of your upbringing is like obviously serving others and making a difference in people's lives. So talk a little about how you're kind of excited to have that experience uh, to go on the mission trip because it's kind of your family mantra. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited uh, about that opportunity. So my family is made up of uh, me, uh, obviously my parents, and then I have a biological sister. But on top of that, I have three adopted siblings from China, um, in which I've gone to China all three times to pick them up, see the orphanages and whatnot. And so uh, recently, my family, you know, we'd gone to China and picked up these kids, but we never really did too much work while we were there because it was more focused on getting the kids back. Um, so my mom and sister and I decided that we wanted to go to Vietnam for a actual missions trip to where we worked and helped with help little kids and in, in the orphanages. So we went over there and fell in love with, with everything we were doing. And we've asked my mom tons, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Can we do it again? But you know, COVID kind of shut that down the last two years. So um, I'm really excited for the opportunity that Liberty is going to open up uh, for me to get back into doing uh, missions trips, even within the country, without the like outside the country. But um, anything I can do, I, I love seeing like little kids that are a little bit less fortunate have that big smile because the smallest thing from showing them a picture on your phone to playing basketball with them brings them the most joy. Now, obviously, coming in, uh, the schedule's been released, and uh, obviously, you got a wave of games, and I'm sure a lot of emotions are gone. But what is a game or a set of games that you're pretty excited about coming in uh, next season? I'm super excited uh, for the Michigan Dearborn games. Uh, I'm from Michigan. Yeah. Uh, I live 20 minutes from Michigan Dearborn. A uh, ton of my friends that I've played against growing up or played with, um, and who I actually skate with. So I'm just I'm excited to skate against them and, and beat them and just kind of have something to, to mess with them about. And now obviously over the next set of uh, your playing career, talk a little bit about obviously some of the things you're looking forward to over your co collegiate career here at Liberty. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to being on a team where everybody kind of has uh, the same focus and it's not um, as much so individuality and guys are, you know, a, a team inside and outside the rink um, to where I can develop strong friendships with guys. Um, I'm excited that Christ is going to be centered in that as well. I've never been on a team where, you know, you've got everybody uh, where Christ is an open conversation uh, before it's, yeah, that guy might be a Christian, that guy might be a Christian, that guy's definitely not. And it, it's never really intertwined um, to where it's everybody's comfortable to talk about it, pray before games. <clears throat> so I'm really excited for that over the next four years and um, just developing my hockey skills. And, and Liberty obviously has the facilities and the training equipment, everything in order to do so, uh, to get as good as I can in the next four or five years. Um, and then my ultimate goal is I'd love to go play hockey in Germany. Um, if I can play in a, a, a professional league over in Germany, then that's, that's my ultimate goal, uh, for hockey. But, um, again, we'll see where Liberty takes me and what God has planned with my life. Well, Cam, once again, thanks again for sitting down with us. Yeah, we're definitely excited to welcome you into the fam and I can't wait to see you, uh, in action here this upcoming fall. Absolutely. Thank you again for having me. Appreciate it.